You just bought a car from a private owner and go to a vehicle licensing office or county auditor's office to report the sale and transfer ownership. But for some customers, the use tax valuation process was taking a long time, frustrating everyone. In early 2014, a new kind of team was formed to tackle the issues causing those long waits, a lean project team. That's true, we brought in stakeholders um, across the state. There were sub-agents and county auditors. The team included representatives from two state agencies, the Department of Revenue and the Department of Licensing. It was the first time that many people on this team had ever been in the same room together. I know the optimism wasn't there with this. There was a lot of, at the beginning, um, before the lean event, there was a lot of finger pointing and you're supposed to be doing this and a lot of misunderstanding and roles on who should be doing what. We both have one uh, common interest and that's quality customer service and I think that's the thing that brought us together. In time, members of the Lean Project team began to feel on the same team and the commonalities between start to finish. It wasn't just looking at my piece of the puzzle, it was how my piece of the puzzle fits into this bigger picture. A diagram called a Lean Value Stream Map highlighted everyone's role in the use tax valuation process, showing what was causing the long wait times for some customers. One of the biggest virtues of Lean is walking through that value stream map is just a visual um, amazement and understanding what each work group has to go through in order to get the end result. I think that's what the big turning point for this group was, is understanding everyone else's perspective. The Lean project team identified duplicative steps, a need for more training and standardized practices, Members recognized that some agents and sub-agents weren't aware that they had the authority and tools to determine a vehicle's use tax without having to call someone at the state. I think that they were surprised once we got into the lean event just how um, much information they actually had of their own. They have the same information that we do. Uh, it just came down to when it was difficult to determine a value on a vehicle they thought they could call us to make that decision. They already had the ability and the resources to do it, but they needed to uh, be reassured that they had that authority. Yes, the empowerment that the, that the agents and the sub-agents felt um, during this, being able to voice, why can't we just look it up for them? If the vehicle valuation system isn't working or there's a dispute, why can't we have the authority to help the customer? And empowering them with that of an agent of the Department of Licensing and Department of Revenue at that point, letting them have that authority to be able to help the customer was huge. The Lean Project team paved the way for new training tools too. Roles and expectations were clearly defined. A new value stream map projected significant time savings and reduced handoffs from the agents and sub-agents to government agencies. What the customer sees from start to finish is I mean, something that took days, that could take days, and multiple phone calls by the customer is now an in and out transaction. They're able to, the front line, which is the agents and sub agents, they're able to help the customer right when they walk in, rather than turn them away or make multiple phone calls. The team didn't stop there. It even went out of scope when it recommended that the long-standing fair market threshold of $3,000 used in the vehicle use tax valuation be changed to $5,000. Both the agency heads heard that at the very end and, and kind of looked at each other and went, yeah, why haven't we looked at that? Our research division looked into it and determined that it was legitimate to change it to $5,000 to a $5,000 threshold. So now anything under $5,000 will be something that they can make their decision on um, on the spot when a taxpayer comes into the office. They, they know all the processes to follow and they don't have to call us if there's a dispute on the value. In just 90 days, the Lean Project team managed to identify and eliminate issues that had been causing difficulties for years. The finger pointing's gone. Shorter customer wait times are here. I think it worked. I am really happy with it. Um, I think that I was surprised uh, how much time we were able to cut off the process. Results so impressive that lean thinking seems here to stay. I think it's a brilliant way to get inclusion. 
it felt great. It felt like a great success and it was nice to have the support of our directors there. It empowers the front line to not only explain the problem but help come up with the solutions and then it's the leader's role to implement that and that's really um, a smart way of going about doing our business.